in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful job application form. And I'm going to show you how to do this using just tables. I'll show you how to insert a couple of tables having different number of columns and rows. Don't worry if you are new to tables because I'm going to hold your hand every step of the way. So if you want to learn how to make this beautiful form, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, we are going to make a job application form. That said, let's jump into the video. Having launched Word, I go over to Layout and I go to Margin. I choose Narrow. And I go to Size and choose A4 because I need enough space to put in my form. Now I enter the title of my company. Enter. What form am I designing? Job application form. Enter. Next, I insert a table. So I head over to insert. Click on table. Then I need two columns, one row. That's it in there. I click. Now I type in my text. Position applied for. I exit out of the table. Hit enter. I insert another table. That will take care of personal details. So I head over to insert. Table. And here I need two columns. Six rows. That is it. I click. For the first cell, I enter personal details. The next cell down, cell name, column. Next, given names, column. Next, I have preferred names. Oops, preferred is wrongly spelled. Can correct that in a moment. Right there. Next, address. Then I have phone one, colon, phone two, colon, and finally, email. Okay, this is what I want. I exit out of the table, hit enter. I insert another table. So I head over to insert, click on table, and I need three columns, three columns, six rows. That is it. I want to capture the educational level of the applicant. That is their qualification. So here I say, educational background and next cell down qualification next cell institution then here year completed so they should be able to give me maximum of four educational backgrounds I exit out of the table, hit enter. Now I want to find out if the applicant is currently undergoing a study. So I will type it pretty quick. Next, I insert another table that will capture the work experience of the applicant. And I need to capture maximum of three previous working experience. So for this table, I will need four columns, six rows. So I go to insert, click on table, four columns, 
six rows. My title here is going to be long, so I merge the whole of these cells by highlighting. Then I go to Layout under Table Tools, then click on Merge, then I enter Quick Experience into brackets most percent first i want to know the employer next dates position held and finally reasons for leaving i exit out of the table hit enter i will need the applicants to provide referees and maybe I can insert a table for that. Insert table and one column, one row will do. References. I exit out of the table. Hit enter. I give them instruction. Please provide at least two refree. Enter. Now I insert a table with four columns, four rows, just like that. Scroll down. So here I have name, job, relationship, and contact. Perfect. I exit out of the table, hit enter. Enter which date will you be available to start? Okay, here I want to put this in a table, so I hit enter, insert a table, and I need two columns, one row. So I just select this and drag it in. Or I could cut and paste. I want to close this space in here. I'll just click there, backspace. Perfect. Now all my tables are set. Time to format my work. And I'll start from the top. So I highlight the whole of this. Actually, I'll include job application form. I'll center it by clicking on center. I make everything bold and I change the font to Californian FB. I increase the size to 24. Perfect. Then the company name, I will change everything to uppercase. Job title, I will capitalize it, meaning every first letter on each word should be capital. It is still selected. I want to change the appearance further. So I click on this little icon here to open up the font dialog box. And I want to make it small caps. Everything will appear as though they are capital letters. But the first letters will be bigger than the rest of the letters. I click on OK. Perfect. For the first table, I highlight this bold, change the case to uppercase. Now go to table tools, then I choose center align left and increase the height to 0 0.8. I do the same thing in here. So align left center, height 0 0.8, go back to home, bold. Then uppercase. Down here, I want to increase the height. So I go to layout. Now make it 0 0.6 and change the alignment to align center left so that everything will be perfect. Educational background. The height, I will make it 0 0.8. Next down below, I highlight everything in here. I go to layout, 
increase the height to 0 0.6 align center i go to home bold uppercase down here this empty cells i want to increase the height to 0 0.6 and i'll make it align center left i'll leave this as is next on this table i will highlight the heading down here i will highlight everything the height i will increase it to 0 0.6 centimeters align center then i go to home bold and uppercase now down here under dates i want to capture the date from which they started their previous work to the date they ended so what i'll do is i'll split this particular cell into two so the cell is selected i go to layout under table tools and i choose split cells so the number of columns should be two and number of rows should be one i click on ok so here i'll enter from and the next cell two perfect now i want to make this cell these two cells so that employer will be in the middle of dates and then from and to so i'll click on merge and it is already centered in here i'll do the same thing here then i'll make these two center i make it bold and then change it to uppercase the height here is quite different from what i see at date so i'll go to layout then increase the height to 0 0.6 so everything is perfect now down here i'll increase the height to 0 0.6 centimeters next references let me correct the spelling here i will highlight it increase the cell height to 0 0.8 centimeters align center left then i go to home make it bold and change it to uppercase scrolling down i'll highlight the whole of this make it bold change it to uppercase go to layout increase the height to 0 0.6 centimeters then align center then the rest of the cells down below i'll increase the height to 0 0.6 centimeters and finally i will highlight the whole of this increase the height to 0 0.6 centimeters align it center left and i go to home and make it bold so you see that my form is fitted perfectly on my document so this is what i want let me further format my form i'll zoom in starting from the top i want to take off some of the lines especially the line borders at the left and right ends of my tables and i'll also change some of the shading i have in here starting from the first cell i'll change the shading and the design to blue meanwhile i'll make the font color white so i go to home font color drop down the arrow choose white and i want to remove this line here and this line here so that cell here is selected i go to design borders left border click in here borders right border the whole of this row i want to merge it and make it one after highlighting i click on merge cells then i go to design change the shading to blue and also take off the left and right borders so i'll choose left go back and choose right so the whole of this cells here i want to remove the left border 
So after highlighting, I go to borders, left border. I do the same thing in here. I also make the cells for preferred names. Highlight, go to layout, merge cells. The same thing for address, merge cells. Email, I will make that two. Then I will leave phone one and phone two as it is. I can still see the border at the right side here. I think this came after I made these two cells here and this one too. I'll just highlight, go back to borders, then choose right border, then click in here, borders, left border. Sorry, I've just selected left border for this. Go back, left border to remove it, go back again, right border to remove the right border. Perfect. I'll change the font color here to white after highlighting. I don't need to go to home. It is highlighted and I can see the font formatting icons. So I'll go to font color here. White is already active. I just click on it directly. Perfect. I'll highlight the whole of this row. Go to layout and match cells under design blue shading and I go to borders left border borders again right border now i'll highlight the whole of these cells here to remove the right border i change the font color here to white going down Perfect. One last thing I want to do is I want to take off the line that separates send name and giving names and then the two phone numbers. But I don't want to merge the cells. I just want to hide the line so that the separation between send name and giving name will still be there. And I'll do the same thing in here. So to do that, always make sure your table is active so I go to design then I go to borders left border this one will depend upon where your insertion point is so if my insertion point were to be here I would have chosen right border so I'll do the same thing here and this time around, I'll put the insertion point in the first cell so guess which border I'll choose when I go to borders it should be right border all right, so the line is still there. When you hover, you see that you have the two vertical bars with two headed arrows pointing left and right. This indicates that there's a line here. Okay, I'll zoom out to have a complete view of my table. Okay, I'll zoom in once. Scroll up a bit. And I can see the layout of my form. So that's it. My job application form is complete and I've done all this using just tables. This is just a tip of an iceberg. You can actually go deeper and deeper using tables to creating your forms. I hope you found value. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel just like this one, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and we will talk soon.